Why do insects follow markers? Are these viral videos fake? I designed an experiment which will test this out. And to make it more fun, I use different types of insects. Our controlled variable is the setup. There's a marker, a whiteboard, and nothing else which might cause the insect to behave differently. The independent variable is the insects involved, with there being ants, termites, an earwig, fly larva, and beetle. The dependent variable in the experiment is their reactions, whether or not they are affected, repelled, or attracted. And this is what we need to take note of. Based on the results, a reasonable conclusion can be made as to why. First, I decided to test this out on termites. Turns out, when I used the marker, they seemed to be blocked for a second, but then later managed to cross the barrier. Just to prove that the marker ink is what's doing this, I drew with the cap on so no ink can be perceived. Alright, so how about ants? Similar reaction. I even tried making the ant follow the line, but it didn't work out. When I tested it out on the earwig, it bolted across the whiteboard. Same thing for this fly larva over here. It had a hard time crawling across the smooth surface of the whiteboard, but was not affected at all. On reliable channels on YouTube, I have watched videos of ladybird beetles following the trail of a pen or a marker. And yes, following. And since ladybirds are beetles, this one might have a similar reaction. When I drew a line, the beetle stopped in its tracks. Hmm, what could this be? Ah, must not be anything significant, it must have thought as it crossed the line eventually. The beetle's reaction was more delayed than that of the termites and the ants, which was taken into account. Additionally, I followed the beetle with the marker as it got to the edge of the whiteboard. What happened next was surprising. I drew a curved line towards the beetle so that its antennae could pick up its scent, and the beetle actually crawled towards the trail. I tabulated the results of my experiment here. The termites, ants, and the beetle were repelled, and in case of the beetle, they were also attracted. And the earwigs and fly larvae had no visible reaction. After using my own knowledge regarding invertebrate biology, as well as by doing a bit of research, I figured out why my results are the way they are. In some cases, the type of marker or pen matters. Why? Because of the biochemical signals insects release known as pheromones. There are many types of pheromones, with different variations depending upon species, which can signal danger, presence of food, mating response, and a ton more. Just like humans making use of different sounds to communicate these things. Markers and pens may contain similar chemicals to pheromones the insects secrete, which may convey different messages such as danger and food, or none at all. If the insect does not release that type of pheromone, there is a chance that it doesn't care. If the insect uses pheromone trails to find food, and nests, just like ants, they can get blocked as their pheromone trail is disrupted and they try to find it once more. Insects can have crazy adaptations to detect pheromones, like the feathery antennae of moths, which are so sensitive that they can perceive these signals from 4.5 kilometers away. There are many ways insects and other invertebrates are similar to us. This is mainly because we have all descended from the same last common ancestor, which means that we are related in some way. This is the case for all life forms, which is why phylogenetic trees branch out from a single point. It is important to understand the connections between everything big and small, to think about the complexity of nature and the art of earth that is life. I hope you guys enjoyed this experiment. Be sure to share this video with as many as possible and subscribe to the channel for more. Examples on the end screen. This is ABSE signing out. Take care and goodbye.